What is going on guys, it's 42 Sports here and today I am back with another college football prediction video and this time it's between the Nebraska Cornhuskers versus the Colorado Buffalo. Alright, so as you guys know that Nebraska will be playing Colorado this year at home in the second game of the year. Coverage will be on ABC. Uh, it'll be 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time on September 8th of 2018 at Memorial Stadium in Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, last year, both teams really struggled. Uh, they were in the below the 500. They didn't win six games. Both of them didn't. And they struggled. Uh, uh, and Colorado is going to lose some tough guys uh, that were key players for them last year. But their defense is still going to be decent uh, with Drew Lewis as one of their top tacklers uh, for the team is back with uh, Colorado. But... Nebraska, on the other hand, they got a young core coming in, but Patrick O'Brien, Tanner Lee, Patrick O'Brien uh, transferred, uh, and he he didn't really get much playing time, so he transferred. Uh, so also Tanner Lee graduated. He really didn't do so well from transferring from Tulane. Uh, I believe it was Tulane or Tulsa, and he just didn't really uh, pan out with the Nebraska Cornhuskers uh, system. Um, so Scott Frost is the new head coach for Nebraska, and man. He, in two years, he went undefeated with UCF. They could have possibly been in the college football playoffs, but, you know, the NCAA and the committee, they're biased towards the SEC, and they wouldn't let any non-Power uh, power 5 conference teams or uh, yeah, teams in. Nebraska, uh, UCF went 12-0 with Scott Frost's second year, and they beat Auburn in the Sugar Bowl, I believe it was. Uh, or, no, it wasn't the Sugar Bowl. It was, um, I forget what it was, All-State Bowl. I don't know. I forget it was, but it was a bowl game. Uh, they beat Auburn, and it was crazy. Uh, Mackenzie Milton, I believe, is the quarterback name. Uh, he was really spectacular. And the defense, it was uh, Shaquem Griffin. He was awesome. Um, cool story about him. Uh, yeah, Griffin. It was, it was really cool. Uh, but as of now, Scott Frost is now back in his former college, Nebraska. And, man, he'll bring to the table a good college uh, football team. That is Nebraska. On the other hand, Colorado is really, really young, but also Nebraska is really young as well. So uh, we're going to go through the stats for uh, this year and see how we'll compare them to, uh, to each of the uh, teams. And I'll give the final prediction at the end. Uh, so Colorado last year, they were 5-7 and seven, below the 600 or the 6 win mark almost to bowl game. Uh, they were 2-7 and seven overall, not really good in the Pac-12 uh, uh, conference. Uh, Nebraska, they were 4-8. and eight, Really, really bad. Uh, three and six, and of course Scott Frost is a new head coach who went 12 and 0 with uh, UCF. Uh, so, as of now, we're going through the quarterbacks. I'm going to list like one quarterback from each team and the list on people who's gone. Uh, so Patrick O'Brien transfers out of Nebraska, which leads to Adrian Martinez and Andrew Bunch. I believe that Adrian Martinez might be the starter uh, for this year because I watched a little bit of spring spring game and he's pretty good. Um, Tanner Lee graduated. He wasn't that great, uh, great a quarterback, and most of Nebraska fans are kind of relieved that he's gone because uh, he really wasn't that good uh, last year. So, Colorado, they got Steven uh, Montez back. Did really well, even though they struggled last year. Uh, he went 228 completions to uh, 377 attempts, 2,975 uh, yards of passing, 60.5 uh, completion percentage, 7.89 yards average, 18 touchdowns, and 8 interceptions. The QBR rating was the 131, uh, one, no, 137.7, and he's in the battle with Sam Neuer. But it looks like Steven Montez will most likely be a starter uh, for Colorado. All right, so Nebraska for running backs. They're good with running backs, uh, but the Colorado will be losing Phillip Lindsay, and he's a huge loss for that team. He had over 1,000 rushing yards, so that is huge, huge, huge uh, for them. But from Nebraska, they get, uh, they get back Divine. Azigbo, uh, if I pronounced the last name wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, he had 129 carries, 493 rushing yards, 3.8 uh, yards average, and three touchdowns. And battle with him is Michael Wilbon, and I don't think they lost anybody from the team. All right, so Colorado's running backs, as you guys know, Philip Lindsay is gone, and he was a huge loss to the team. Uh, so they got Bayou uh, ba Bisharat, I'm <laughs> if I pronounce that. He only had 21 carries, 61 yards, 2.9 yards average, and zero touchdowns. That's going to be a huge gap for them to fill. 
and let's see how that pans out for the uh, Buffaloes of Colorado. All right, so the top three wide receivers and Nebraska once again is stacked, uh, but and also Colorado is losing a lot of guys uh, from their team, but they still have some decent uh, wide receivers as well. All right, so Nebraska's top three wide receivers is Stanley Morgan Jr. He had uh, 61 receptions, almost 1,000 yards, which was 986 receiving yards, 16.2 yards average, and 10 touchdowns. That was pretty pretty amazing. Uh, J.D. Uh, Spielman, if I pronounced the last name wrong, 55 receptions, 830 uh, receiving yards, 15.1 yards average, and two touchdowns, while Jack Stoll, eight receptions, 123 yards receiving, 3.8 yards average, and two touchdowns. The players they'll be uh, le uh, losing is D. Morney, Pearsons L, and Tyler Hops. So not really that many people that they're losing. So they'll they'll be good with the running back position and the wide receiver, but the quarterback position is going to be key for Nebraska this year. All right. So Colorado's uh, top three wide receivers is J. Ma uh, McIntyre. McIntyre, I believe that's how I pronounced the last name. Uh, he had 23, uh, 28 receptions, 396 receiving yards. 14.1 yards average, and two touchdowns. All right, so Jawan Winfrey, he had 21 receptions, 325 receiving yards, 15.5 uh, yards average, and two touchdowns. Uh, LaVisca La uh, Chanel Jr. had seven receptions, 168 yards of receiving, 24.0 uh, yards average, and zero touchdowns. And the people they'll be losing, which is huge, uh, which is Bryce Bobo, Shea Fields, Devin Ross, and, of course, Philip uh, Lindsay, the running back, who also played a key part of the uh, wide receiving court. All right, so the top three defensive players, um, Nebraska, they're going to lose uh, Chris Weber, who was a huge asset for them, Marcus Newby, and Joshua Kalu. But Derek Young is back, he's the linebacker. He had 80 tackles overall. Aaron Williams, uh, he had he's a DB, 48 tackles, two interceptions. And Antonio Reed, the DB, 42 tackles and one interception. Colorado, they'll also be losing uh, some key quality players, but Drew Lewis and Rick Gamboa are back with the team, and they're huge, huge, huge for Colorado. They're both linebackers, so that's huge for the defense, uh, for the mid-secondary, if you want to call it like that. So Drew Lewis had 94 tackles overall. He's a linebacker. Uh, Rick Gamboa, he's had 90 tackles overall, and Evan Worthington, had 80, he's a DB. He had 87 tackles and three interceptions. The people that left or graduated or gone to NFL is Ryan Moeller, Afa Ulabi, Laguda, uh, Derek McCartney, and Leo Jackson. So that's going to be huge for Colorado, but they still got three huge, uh, three quality players uh, like Drew Lewis and Rick Gamboa. But Nebraska is losing Chris Weber, but they're also having more experience also. Plus, they have Scott Frost as their new head coach, and you know how he did uh, really well coaching UCF when UCF was literally two years ago 0 and 12, and then they went 12 and 0 with um, Scott Frost. So that should be a huge um, booster for Nebraska, and should be intimidating for all the other uh, teams out there because Scott Frost can change a program in, like in a heartbeat. All right, so guys, the final score for today's game or for this predictions game, I believe that Nebraska will beat Colorado because Colorado is really young. And Nebraska has more experience, but the quarterback position won't be experienced. Uh, but I believe that Adrian Martinez will have a great game uh, this game. And plus, it's home field advantage. So I believe that um, Nebraska will win 38-21. And uh, Nebraska scores two late touchdowns in the fourth quarter. But it was it's a close game uh, throughout the uh, first three quarters. But you see Colorado start to get tired. And Nebraska uh, wins it 38-21. Uh, so, guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Who will win this game? If you're a Cornhuskers fan, let me know. If you're a Buffaloes fan, also let me know. So, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. And peace.